Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alexis, and this is Scarlett. It's my daughter. And uh, we are on our way to Pride. Hey. This is Scarlett's first time at Pride, so I wanted to show her around, kind of get the full experience, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. You excited? Yeah. We're walking downtown on our way over to the park. It is dead. I, I have never seen downtown this slow on an event Saturday. This is insane. We got our first uh, pride swag. Yeah. <laughs> Some beer he drinks, so that's awesome. just about to start. We wanted to make sure we didn't get trapped because we have places to be today, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but Scarlett, how was your first Pride? Fun. A little bit more than that? <laughs> exciting. Why was it exciting? Because it was fun to, and exciting to see like how a whole bunch of people were going to get together and celebrate. Good. Did you learn anything today? Mm, sort of. Like what? I mean, how, like, everyone, like, getting together, and, like, how a lot of people in Orlando are, like, celebrating with each other. Mm-hmm. But... It is definitely a good place to, to live if you are queer. That I can, I can say that. Despite the concerns about the legal issues going on right now, uh, the Orlando bubble is a, a very safe place and a very nice place to live. But what about the... What was your favorite part? Probably the kids section, mm -hmm. because, like, there's a whole bunch of, there's, like, an owl. There was, like, a whole bunch of crafts to do. Mm -hmm. like, I could even make my own pin. Yeah, you got to make your own pride pin. That was fun. So. 
Yeah, you made like a bat puppet at one point, and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, overall, great experience. Definitely better than uh, it was for me last year. Last year was very, was way more crowded. Um, I was really surprised at how not crowded it was. Um, you know, I was able to catch up with some friends, so including people I've not met in person. So that was wonderful. Um, people that have left the state and, you know, came back for this event, that was wonderful to see. Um, even caught up with an old work friend that I hadn't seen in person in over a year. So, yeah, it's really kind of a special time. And, you know, I, as after last year, it, with it just being overwhelmingly hot and so crowded, um, you know, hopefully the political climate hasn't caused people to not come to Pride this year. And it's just, you know, you know, people are busy or something. I don't know. But, you know, we'll see. We did see a lot of people show more, a lot more people as we were leaving than I'd say when we first got there, right? Yeah. Because we did get there fairly after the event started. So, you know, people were filling in and all of that. So plenty of vendors. Uh, got some nice stuff. You want to show your... your the sun drop and moon drop earrings. I did not know that Five Nights at Freddy's was like a big, like, queer thing, but she loves it, so. Furbies. <laughs> I have discovered Furbies, and now they're like my favorite thing. And then I got the cool rainbow cats in a potato position. Perfect. Overall, a fantastic event. Very exciting. Um, you know, clearly Scarlet had a great time. Yeah. That was, that was... The, really the main reason we went. I was like, I don't need to do this. But she's like, no, I want to go. I was like, okay. So, she had a few things that she was a little uncomfortable with, but, um, you know, that's pride. So, it happens. You know, and, you know, that's why we celebrate everybody. You know, sometimes it's, you find out what's not for you. So, even if you, we you know, it's probably better to do that at a younger age. So, all right. So, thank you for joining in. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at, you know, the Come Out With Pride Festival uh, here in Orlando. And uh, we will see you on the next one. And, of course, have courage and be kind, especially to yourself. Did I bust you up?